Welcome to part one of the Call of Duty 4 custom character modeling tutorial. If you haven't watched the introduction video to this tutorial, I suggest you go back and watch it. It explains the programs you will need, some prerequisites to this tutorial, and my contact information. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to create some much needed shortcuts, create and set up a folder for your model and texture files, discuss initial setup of programs used, and discuss the initial import of your model file. Let's begin with shortcuts. Adding shortcuts to your desktop will ease and speed the process of your modeling and modding tasks. I strongly urge you to do the same as I will be using them throughout this process. The most important shortcut to have on your desktop when modding for Call of Duty 4 is the Call of Duty 4 folder. Although it's a shortcut to the main directory, you will be able to access all the needed folders and files with one shortcut. Navigate to your Call of Duty 4 by clicking Start, My Computer, C Drive, Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty 4. Right click the Call of Duty 4 folder, send to Desktop Create Shortcut. The next shortcut we'll add is the Asset Manager. Since we are looking at the Call of Duty 4 folder, open it up and browse to the bin folder. Find the bin folder, open it up, find the asset manager.exe, right click, send to desktop create shortcut. While we're in the bin folder, we will go ahead and create a shortcut for the mod builder as well that we'll use later to test our character in our mod. Right click, send to desktop shortcut. And now for some obvious shortcuts that we're going to need. If you don't already have them on your desktop, they are Maya 8.5, Blender. Using a third-party program on your 3DS file or object file to clean it is always a good idea. For now, these shortcuts will suffice. We will add a few more later that are not important at this early stage of our modeling tasks. Next, we'll create a folder to store all the files that go with your model. Files such as object files, 3DS files, textures and exports that we are going to do later. We will also discuss a naming convention for your textures. I decided to go with Iron Man for this tutorial. I downloaded this a few days ago. Let me open the folder so you can see its contents. As you can see it comes with a 3DS file and two texture files. I notice the texture file names are too common, meaning they don't reference my model by name. Adding your model's name as a prefix to the texture names will generalize the textures to your model. This will ease in the search process later when searching for these files. Now is the time to start a naming convention. As a precaution, I'm going to rename these files leaving as much of the original texture file name as possible. Since this model only has two textures, I don't believe it will be a problem later matching up the textures in Maya. Some models have many textures and leaving the names as is may be necessary. I will explain later why common file names such as body, arm, and legs without your model's prefix becomes an issue. Now let's place our models folder into the Call of Duty 4 model export folder to use with our tools. Double click your shortcut for Call of Duty 4. Locate your model export folder and drag your models folder into the model export folder. In this section, we'll talk about cleaning your file using Blender. Now, this is a custom modeling tutorial, so I will use a custom model, not something exported from the Call of Duty 4 X model exporter. Your model may have come from a file you downloaded or something created straight from your imagination. Either way, the file may be, in 3D modeling terms, dirty. Running this file through a third-party program like Blender will clean the file and remove all unnecessary code from the file that will otherwise cause problems in Maya. On the other hand, if you use Maya to create your model, then you are okay to proceed. I like to export object files wherever possible since the texture and UV assignments are exported and as a plus, Blender will group the mesh by materials to ease the texturing process. Upon initial startup of Blender, you'll get a command prompt asking for Python 2.5. Blender needs Python 2.5 installed in order to run. 
In the main 3D window, you have a box. The box is a polygon primitive and is created whenever a new file is created. Place your mouse over the box and hit delete on your keyboard, then select erase selected object. We do not want this box in our model when we import and export. And now let's navigate to our 3DS file for Iron Man by clicking File, Import, 3DS. Underneath P, which stands for Parent Directory, click the File Browser button. Navigate to C, Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty 4, Model Export, and then your Models folder. Find your 3DS file, right click to highlight, left click to select, then click Import 3DS. Now it's time to export the file. Click File, Export, Object, give your export a name, in my case it's Iron Man. Click on Export Wavefront Object. In the Export Options dialog box, select Material Groups, then Export. And that concludes part one of the Call of Duty 4 custom character modeling tutorial. Join us next time when we work in Maya in part two. Thank you for watching.